Hello people, this is KDS and I'm here with my friend Forrest. Yo. And we're going after the smelter demon, which uh, actually we're using parts of his armor. Legs, I believe. Yeah, lagging plus five. Yes, uh, they will uh, unlock later on in the game from Merchant in Majula. But for now we're going uh, to see how fast we can get to him. There's also a couple important things that we get to uh, go after, like the merchant and uh, the amber for the other. Uh, yeah, careful, these guys still hit like a brick. Yeah, they do indeed. I wanted to go a little too fast, I suppose. Yeah. Oh well. Ah, oh, there. Good that we've got plenty of these spares. Yeah, I do. Lock, yeah. Just throw them in the corner. For ambush. And there's this guy. Game over. So, uh, let's take out this one first. Before we yeah. get on. Why not? Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, right rear. And then right here. We got a merchant. That will sell you well, some cool stuff. But you also well. uh, let you join the Dragon Covenant later on in the game. But you'll need some things. And as soon as you start talking to him, you will see the incense uh, ability, which Forrest knows all about. Yeah, incense. If you've got any simpleton spice, or if you've got any skeptic spice in your inventory, if you select any miracle or any spell, pyromancy, hex, doesn't matter. If you use the incense, it will reduce the stat requirements to use something. So if something takes, let's say, some like spear, 55 faith requirement to use, you've got like five skeptic spice on you, incense five times on that, and the requirement goes from 55 to 50. Yes, yeah, so and then we also have the simpleton spice, which will uh, raise the intelligence costs. Or it lower the intelligence cost yeah, by that? Yeah, re reduces the... It's just like Skeptic Spices for Faith builds, that's for intelligence. For yes. spellcasters. Or Dark Hex also requires intelligence and faith. So, for example, if I wanted to use uh, Soul Bolt, which costs 45, or... Let's get something cheaper, actually. Great Magic Weapon. Crystal magic weapon, either way, they're both good. Yep. You could use a simpleton spice and lower the requirement to 17, from 18 to 17. Really simple. Also, he sells um, Humanity? some armor, like the Jester uh, armor, uh, a Curse Bite ring, which could be useful, I suppose. A Humanity, obviously, as Forrest stated. Uh, some some carvings. Yeah, I've, some I've got stuff. them actually. I bought them off him. Wait. But I've not equipped any. And some, some spells. He should have a fragrant branch of yore. Yes, he does. 7,500 souls. 7,500 souls, which is used to unpetrify things. Which we're gonna use later on in the game. Yeah, these the carvings that he sells were actually in the DLC of the original Dark Souls. I've already bought them and I've just equipped each one and they just say like... Like that. Hello, there's one for... Then there's... And finally... <laughs> Very nice. Now let's yeah. move on. Normally people say like, I'm sorry if they're gonna like leave your world or if it's an invader after he kills you. Also in our it. previous video against the old Iron King, we knocked something out, like the fire. Yeah, we pulled we'll the give you the iron key. Useful item. Very useful. What's it for, for us? I believe it's to open a shortcut. For some kind. That was pretty close. Yeah, yeah, I think it's something you to do with You take the dude on the left. Alright. Yeah, because the other dude will be the uh, archer. I'm gonna get behind this guy, but he doesn't give you a chance. 
There we go. 1345 damage. I'll use a glass. I believe there's an archer up here. Yeah. So many people run past me, they don't mm. even realize it's there. I'll go up there now. Hitting a moving target is so much. Oh, nice. There so much is. harder. Once again, clear out everything is a good way yeah. to move past them. Plus the souls as well. You never have too many souls. There's a guy at the top. He's locked on me. Yeah. There's another one right there. There we go. <laughs> so easy with lightning spurs. Especially if, there, if there's two of us. There's yeah. another dude down here. Another dude below. Got him. I got some uh, probably life gem. Thank you. Probably. There's also a red dude over there worth about 4500. 4500 maybe. Yeah. I'm always just throwing the basic ones. Same here. So if you need a lot of souls to farm, this is the place to do it. Sure. One place you can do it. There are better op options, but this is earlier in the game. True. Watch out uh, for the archer. Yeah. But this guy is pretty easy. You can just run behind him and get a free backstab. Well, kill him normally, but... Apparently it did kill him this time. Yeah. Now, the boss is right behind here, but... Um, there's something else you should see. Yeah. There's a little jump here. If you make that, there's a chest here. I believe it's not trapped or anything. No, it's got Swyhander in it. Right. Swyhander is a really good weapon as well. If you can't get the great sword or you're no good with it. Very popular in Dark Souls 1. Still pretty power, uh, pretty popular in this area. Now, down there you see something sparkling. That's the amber you need for the... Uh, the blacksmith in, in Macduff's workshop. Yeah, in Lost Bastille. Before us, uh, would uh, move aside for a bit. Let's see if the I can make the, the jump. The dull amber. See if I don't derp up. Uh, it's really a tricky jump. It's probably one of the hardest jumps to make. Ooh, nicely done. And there we go. Oh, there's a red dude here. Shoot him. Shit. That's the problem with them, with these things was, there's always something else hitting them with. Ah, meh. Make him come closer. Okay, you got him. That worked. Yeah. So the item over here is the amber you need for the blacksmith. Yes, indeed. The dull amber. Yeah. And now I need to get back there, somehow. If you go up there, there should be the, uh, the door with the bonfire, maybe. Second bonfire. Mm, there's a lockstone with water. I um, don't think that's right. But I can see you. Oh, Later. yeah. No, oh, you're above me. Wait. Yep. Nicely done. Now to uh, jump back. And I believe there's an NPC here or not? Yeah, if you take the ring off. Yeah. Luca Teal. Luca Teal. Uh, she needs to be in your party for several boss fights, I believe. She's she has to useful. survive three boss fights. Yes. But if you, let's say you do first playthrough, you only need to do one boss fight where she survives. That continues on subsequent playthroughs. So if you've done one first playthrough, you only have to do two in the second. But you still need to talk to her in every location before Indeed. she'll give you the armor and her weapon. Nice looking weapon though. Pretty now on to the smelter demon. Any tips for us? Anything with fire defense is going to be helpful because after you've done a certain amount of damage to him he'll start to be engulfed in fire around the, uh, the stomach area and there'll be a constant a constant effect fire that you'll take damage if you're a melee character. If you got anything ranged, hit him with it. He's pretty weak to lightning. Um, yeah, you don't want to 
Don't want to use a fire weapon? No, useless. Don't be too aggressive though, because occasionally he will do a shockwave out of his chest and a big fire shockwave will come out. If you get hit by that, you might get what instant kill depending on your health. Or difficulty. Right. Let's give this a go. Try it, but remember we have loot kills for bait. Plus my shield blocks about 80 some percent of fire anyway. But yeah. I reckon it'll probably drain down my uh, stamina. But normally if you summer an MG2 like that, it goes after the MG3. Or it goes after me. So Kevin can just keep shooting his ass. I've I saw a few uh okay, if you if you start raising like that, just keep going on him. Might not do a lot of damage if it all stacks up. Careful he's on you. Yeah, maybe you feel up though man. So I can take this guy off before you get hit by the two. Yeah, we got this. Get him over. There he goes. Victory hey. chief. Um, after the smelted demon, uh, if you come back here, the pursuer will spawn here, just once though. And he will drop a, uh, what's it called? Ring of blades. Ring of blades. Long. Not the plus two in this uh, playthrough? No, plus, plus two is later on. So we're going up the ladder now. Yeah, that's where the uh, second bonfire is. I'm not sure if there's anything else up here, a chest, yeah. not a trap, not, right? Not trap, no. Can't remember what's in it though. Flame butterflies. Yeah, pretty useful. And a door, right next to the bonfire. Sweet. Which will lead to uh, elsewhere. Oh, it's up here. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, people, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed. See you next time. See ya.